So today's video, I'm super excited about it. It is healthy hacks for a busy person. So if you watched my first video, you would know that at the end of last year, I started full-time work for the first time since finishing my degree. It was a shock. It was just such a change to my lifestyle. So before that, I was at uni and I was studying full-time. I was really busy and I had heaps on and well, I thought I was really busy. There's such a difference from when you're on your own schedule to when you're on someone else's schedule. So when I was studying and working, it was really flexible with my work hours. If I wanted to study at night or in the middle of the day or whenever, it was so easy. So I just fit my workouts around then. So when I did transition and I started working full time, it was a shock. Like, I I don't know, I don't know what I thought, but I just, I didn't handle it very well at all. That's when, you know, like I put on weight and I developed like these issues and these problems. And it honestly took me six months to even get in a routine where I was comfortable and happy again. So I wanted to share some tips, some hacks that I use how I sort of got my shit together and still feeling like fit and healthy. I feel like so many girls are probably in the same boat where they feel like that. And to be honest, when I first transitioned to full-time work, I did go through this like mindset where I was like, no, like you can't work full-time and have this awesome career and also have abs. And so I did struggle a lot with it at the start, but it's only now that I'm sort of implementing different things things and doing stuff a different way and I've realized you sort of you can have that balance you can still have a career and work full-time and also like be fit and healthy in saying that I don't always at all so if you don't have everything under control or anything like that don't feel bad it's a constant battle but when you do start sort of working towards it and working for that balance between both it's so like it just feels so good anyway so let's get straight into it my healthy hacks for a busy person first healthy hack on a Sunday or whatever like your downtime day is I schedule and organize everything for my week ahead so basically every week I have this little planner. I will put in all my workouts and any events I have with friends or anything like that. So I put it all down and also it's good because if you have a work event, you can like make sure you work out in the morning or vice versa and stuff like that. So I just make sure I write everything down, have a schedule. So hack number two is to do with working out. And I feel like I've said this quite a few times, but I work out in the morning and it's just so good because I get up, I work out and it's done for the day. I'm supposed to finish at five, but sometimes there's like something urgent that I need to do or something like that. If I don't work out in the morning and something like that ha happens, which most of the time I do have to work a little bit later, I'm going to miss my workout and I'm going to feel crap and I'm going to feel guilty. So I just find getting up early, getting it done, smashing it up, making it a priority getting it done in the morning it's just it suits me so much better and then you don't have to think about it for the rest of the day if you're not someone who works out in the morning you're not a morning person but you want to become a morning person honestly give yourself two weeks of getting up a bit earlier working out in the morning the first couple of weeks will be a bit crap but give yourself two weeks and you will become a morning person. Your body is so amazing at adapting, like it's unreal. Also, just quickly in regards to workout, quality over quantity. So if you know you've only got three times during the week to do it, that's fine. Just make sure those workouts are quality. So you're, you're getting in there, you're getting it done, and you're out. Okay, so on to healthy hack number three. So this healthy hack, kind of came about recently and it's because I got one of these watches it counts like your heart rates and your steps and stuff like that and even though I work out six days a week I realize that I'm actually not an active person for me personally it's not so much the losing weight factor it's just the fact that I'm sitting 
down at a desk all day. So recently I've been trying to make a real effort to just like stretch my legs, get out in the open air and um, just be a bit more active throughout the day. So your recommended daily steps is 10,000 steps and I guarantee anybody who has a desk job and even if you are working out um, for an hour or so a day, I guarantee you would not get in your steps. And I don't know, that was quite shocking for me. I'm just making a really conscious effort um, to be just a tiny bit more active throughout my work day. So for me, that's at lunchtime, I'll just go for like 15, 20 minute walk, listen to my podcast, scroll through social media, just get out, get the blood flowing. Okay, so moving on now, and these are just like a few healthy hacks in regards to eating habits. Firstly, I get like this weekly veg and fruit delivery, and I think it comes on a Tuesday, and I get that delivered to my door, so when I get home, and that is just such a, like a difference because I often find like I don't have time throughout the week to go to the shop. Also something else to do with food is I prep. So I don't do like a Sunday meal prep because honestly that takes so much time from my weekend and I don't like the taste of frozen food. So every single night I just cook myself two dinners and so I eat one dinner there and then I put the other dinner in the fridge and I have it for lunch. So you're kind of like constantly meal prepping but it's like you're already making your dinner so it's like not a big deal. So this is something also new I've been doing and that's I haven't been t usually and I feel like most people would take their rest day on like a Sunday and I used to do that all the time too but now I'm actually taking my rest day during the week. It's usually like a Wednesday or Thursday because that's when I tend to feel a bit burnt out and what I do is I don't take a rest day on the weekend and basically and I've also realized with this tracker so on the weekend, I'm quite an active person. I'm burning a lot more calories. And also, like most people, I tend to not be as strict with my eating and I will eat a bit more food on the weekend. So I see it as when I'm eating more food, I have more energy. So why would I eat more food on a Sunday and not work out? So I have like, I don't know, that's just a personal preference, but because I am eating more food, I have the energy. So I have the energy to do a workout session. Also, I have so much more time on the weekend and I love not being too rushed with a workout, especially if I'm doing my weight training. Also, this is one of my favorite things and this can be on the weekend or during the week, but that is have like, a, like a workout or like a sweat date with a friend so I find working full-time it's really hard to see friends basically I like to combine like my activity or workout and seeing a friend together during the week like it might be going through a walk or you might do like a gym class together it's such a time saver and that's what I'm all about okay so my last healthy hack is having a super productive Sunday Sunday, either morning or afternoon. I like to call it like a super productive Sunday. And basically I just get all like my life admin and all my stuff like sorted for the week. So that includes like this morning, like I love to get like my workout in. I go grocery shopping. I do a bit of cleaning. I do if I have PLT stuff. And I just find if I have a super productive Sunday morning or afternoon, I have a super productive week. Anyway, I'm gonna wrap it up here. I know those, um, you know, tips or whatnot are probably not life-changing, but it's just little steps and doing little things that make things a bit easier because working full-time and trying to do everything is difficult. So when you have, um, like when you implement little habits like that, that are like small little time savers, 
it just makes such a big difference. Also, this is quite random and I just want to say thank you so much to everyone who likes my videos, who leaves me lovely comments and also the people who send me like really beautiful comments on Instagram. It honestly means the world to me because, you know, I am so busy and no, like I feel like I have a lot on my plate and I'm constantly doing stuff, but it's so worth it when I have a girl message me and saying that what I've said has helped her or something like that. Like it just, it makes it all worth it. So I just wanted to say a big thank you guys. Mm -hmm.